Okay, so as uh, a lot of you might know, I use a lot of Schluter products. Um, been using them for quite some time now for their, um, you know, for like the the Cody board and the Ditra and uh, the uh, Ditra heat and all kinds of uh, their products. But I've always had to use a different manufacturer's stin set. Now, Ditra has always said, I mean, Schluter has always said that you should use an unmodified thin set to set that tile on top of their products like if you're going to set a tile on the curly board you would use an unmodified thin set a premium unmodified thin set or if you're going to set it on the Ditra you would still use a modified uh, an unmodified thin set but if you were going to install say like the Ditra onto a wooden subfloor then you would use a polymer modified thin set to install the Ditra to the substrate and then you would use an unmodified thin set to set the tile. So um, this created sometimes a little bit of confusion. I I got a lot of questions, uh, people asking me what thin set should I use, uh, modified, unmodified. Sometimes it created confusion. So Schluter has now come out with their own thin set, which is, they have three different products. They have the Schluter All Set. They have the Schluter Set. And then they have, both of these come in gray and white. And then they also have a rapid set, which I don't have here. Now, because Sluder is manufacturing these thin sets, they control the formula. So what that means is now they can offer a polymer modified thin set, which would be the all set, which you can use under and on top of the Schluter products. So for example, if you were to install uh, this Ditra heat mat on a plywood subfloor, which is what I have here, then you would use, need to use a polymer modified thin set to install the mat on the plywood. And then to install the, the tile on top of the, the mat, you would have to get a a uh, unmodified thin set. <coughs> so uh, by creating the Schluter all set, by making their own uh, thin set, they control the formula, they know exactly what's in it and how it will react and they can control the drying time and the curing time and all that kind of stuff. So they know exactly what's in this. So in this case when you use the Schluter thin set, gray, white, you can use the Schluter All Set, which is a polymer modified thin set, both under to install it, the, for example, this Petra Heat onto the plywood, and you can also use it to install the tile on top. You buy one thin set, and you can do the whole project with one kind of thin set. You can, they also make the Schluter Set which is a premium unmodified thin set. And this is uh, the same as you would normally use uh, an unmodified thin set. You would use a polymer modified thin set to install the Ditra, and then you would use an unmodified thin set to install the tile. So you can still use the Schluter set, which is the unmodified thin set, to install the tile, or you can use the all set. Your choice now. They still don't want you to use someone else's modified thin set to install the tile. And the reason for that is because there's several different manufacturers and they, they can't control what's in the thin set so they can't determine what the drying time is. When they make the thin set, they control it. So they know exactly what's in it, exactly how it's going to perform. And if they change it, they change it so that it's still good for their products. If they get another mo uh, a manufacturer's thin set um, would it change the formula, then they would have to do all the testing again to see uh, how it would react, etc, etc. So they don't know how another manufacturer's modified thin set would work on their on their their products. So that is why um, you can use the all set which is a modified thin set. So the mixing instructions and 
a lot of information, even the ANSI standards are on the bag. The, the ANSI standards they conform to the different standards, A, uh, 118.11, etc. And that was just tells what kind of things that what what um, uh, what they can be used for, and then there's an E classification, a T classification. There's different classifications for the thin set, and, uh, which describes what the properties are for the uh, that thin set. But I'm not going to go into that that here. But all the directions on how you mix it. Now this one here actually has a pretty long mixing period. Uh, it tells you how much water. Uh, you add the water and the powder, and then you mix it for five minutes, and then you let it slake for ten minutes, and then you mix it again for another three minutes, and then you can use it. And you want to mix this according to the directions, because if, if you mix it the way they say to mix it, you'll get the properties and the performance that you expect. Uh, a lot of guys will just mix the thin set. For a, for a minute or so, and then start setting the tire. You don't want to do that. You want to mix the thin set according to the, manuf according to the manufacturer's recommendations for the period of time with the correct amount of water. So if you look at the the ratio of water here, it's pretty wide. It's from 5.5 .5 to 6.5 quarts. So if you mix this on the low end of the water, you're going to get a sag resistant thin set, a no sag thin set. In other words, you put on the wall, a thin set on the wall, and then you put a tile up, it's not gonna slide. If you mix it in the mid range, so that would be five and five and a half quarts is for the no sag. If you mix it in the mid range, say like six quarts, you're gonna get the good mix for installing your tile on the floor. And you know, creamy and and nice and that's how I'm gonna mix it and if you mix it at the at the, at the high end range here at six and a half quarts then you get a good consistency for installing the membrane like the curly membrane on the wall or something like that or um, with the detra on the floor so so depending on the quantity of water that you mix it with you're gonna get three different kinds of performance so, like I said, I'm going to mix it in the, in the mid-range, and we'll see what we get. Okay, so I'm going to put, put six quarts of water. speed drill at 600 I mean at 300 rpm and you want to mix it for five minutes
Okay, now I'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes. And I'm going to mix it again for 3 minutes. Okay, so it's been slaking for 10 minutes. And I'm going to mix it for another 3 minutes. Okay, so that's three minutes. And that's to get nice and creamy. So that's how you mix it, exclude the thin set. And also, never once you've done initial you started mixing, once you've added added your water and you started mixing, you and you never add any more water after the after it's slaked you never add water again otherwise you ruin the whole thing set so that's it so now you know what to use uh, for thin set if you're using Schluter products best thing to do is to use their products that thin set so you get exactly uh, oh and then if you oh one thing I almost forgot which is very important if you use that thin set you get a lifetime warranty on the installation. So that's something very important. Um, use Schluter products with Schluter Thin Set, you get a lifetime warranty. So what more can you ask for? So uh, that's good news. No more wondering what you should use. Just use uh, the Schluter Thin Set with Schluter products, and you'll be all set. So um, that's it. So leave your comments in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my uh, new online store at dibsmart.com. Thanks a lot.